Big Stevie Cool back again with some more transfer news here on the, the 14th of June 2023. The transfer window has officially opened and I have a lot of news to get through in this video. So hell yeah, let's get into it. And uh, first of all, we've got Alex Ray talking about the fact that Scott Arfield may feel unlucky not to be offered the new contract by Michael Beale. Yeah. A lot of us thought this at the time. I feel like at the five, it was our field that was kind of like the most sad about going. And then it was probably like, well, I'll say our field. I mean, I mean, I mean, out of players that. I mean, I know Morel, I know McGregor did go as well, but I feel like that was more of a retirement. I feel like with the other four, it was, it was kind of different. Or maybe that's just me talking pish. I'm not too sure, guys. But obviously, McGregor was really sad as well. But I seen that more as a retirement, even though he's not really. Has he come out and said anything? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um. But yeah, Arfield, I'm actually surprised he didn't get another um, deal, to be honest. Uh, also, Rangers are chasing a deal with uh, Bright Osai Samuel. I've already made a video on this. So uh, that could potentially happen. Apparently, French club Troyes are also competing with us for his signature. But you know what? I'm all for this, man. Sometimes in the past in transfer windows, we've been doing nothing when we've needed to um, get people over the line and, like... We are doing it now. I mean, it is a bit shit, I'll be honest, that it's taken to this level. Like, for us to, like, you know, need such of a rebuild players in for us to actually finally get a boot up the arse. Because what we should have done, we should have been bringing the likes of these players in after we won 55. But what, what, what happened, guys? We stood still. And uh, hopefully we never, ever make that mistake again. Um, also, there's been an injury update regarding the big man, Big John, Big Match John, Big Match John, Suter. And it's an injury boost for us and also for Scotland, as he could be fit to play in the nation's upcoming European Champ qualifiers. We need this guy firing on all cylinders. It's exactly what we need, and it's exactly that I hope we get, as I've just dropped my wallet. But not only for us, I mean, it would be great for Scotland if he can start these games, but, you know, we need him to build up a consistent run of games, John So That's what we realistically want and need from the guy. But also, there is an update on Sam Lammers. He is currently doing a medical, and apparently, according to uh, STV, he is taking... This medical is taking place in Manchester. Uh, don't know how much true to that. I don't really care where it's taking place, man. It can take place on Antarctica, but all we need is we can get transfers over the line. You know what? Uh, there's been a lot of this. I mean, a few people have defended Lammers. I mean, I've been critical of his goal scoring record, but you know what? Let's not judge a book by its cover. Let's see till we get to page, I would say page 69, but you know, let's go with page 71 just to keep things crystal clean here. Let's see what he's capable of, right? Let's see what happens. Now, if we're, if we're starting him up front and it's like 10 games in and the guy's missed about 27 open nets, then I think questions have got to be asked about the, the, the signing of this guy. But if we're 10 games in and this guy is an absolute assist machine and he's, you know, build up play merchant, then I'll take that. I'll take that. But hopefully his medical can uh, get over and out the way soon enough. And finally, guys, Glenn Kamara's exit is on the cars. It looks like Rens are going to pay five million potentially. But I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised personally if um, Southampton hijack it. But it, it, it's weird. It is a weird one because if Southampton come in, would you guys like to see a swap deal where we could swap, maybe pay like three million in Kamara for Joe Arrivo? I would take that every single day of the week in my opinion. But anyway guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this video. That is it for your Rangers transfer news the day. And until next time, Big Stevie signing out till the morrow. We'll be a football manager part of the morrow. What day is the morrow, man? Thursday. Can't wait. We like to party.